Hello there, Kirk Place and the Rice Movement. This is Steve Chong here on the fifth day of the Lausanne Convention, and we have just had a spectacular talk this morning. I found it excellent thinking about issues of unity and diversity uh, by an, a guy named Vaughan Roberts, and uh, we've had such a great time, and I'm going to introduce you to him right now. Vaughan, now tell us, where are you from? I'm from England, UK. Excellent, and you love Australians though, don't you? Uh, of course I do. <laughs> yes. Of course I do. A polite Englishman, excellent. Now, you gave us a talk today. Give us a, a very brief summary about what you spoke about and why that was important. Yeah. Well, Ephesians 4, I was expounding. Yeah. And it's talking about God's plan to unite a people for himself from all over the world. And, I mean, that's important because it's God's eternal plan. Nothing Absolutely. more important than that. Absolutely. Now, you gave a quote that might possibly be... One of, my one of the finest lines I've heard in a talk. I it, was, it just captures something about God, right? Tell me the quote. Can you remember it, you think? Oh, I'm and, struggling. And, yeah, I'll try. Okay, okay. Tell us the quote. Tell us the quote. Well, what I said was when human beings freeze water, we make ice cubes, which are identical. When God freezes water, he, he makes snowflakes, and every snowflake is different. Absolutely. Now, why is that? What's that capturing about God? And well, it's, that... it's capturing the fact that it, he, he's not trying to conform us into uniformity. Yeah. He wants us to make us like Christ, but in our very different ways. We've got different personalities, different gifts, and uh, God loves that. Absolutely. Now, um, uh, you're speaking to a whole stack of young people. Do you want to give them some advice um, as to what, what they should do with their life? You've worked with students before, haven't you? I've spent a lot of time working with students. Absolutely. And I'd say for students, and indeed for anyone, yeah, you, sure. Um, first give your life to Christ, yeah, good. and then remember He's the Lord, and serve Him wholeheartedly. And that, that feels scary at times. He's calling for sacrifice and cost. But no sacrifice we give up for him is anything like the sacrifice he gave for us in Christ. And actually, it's the way for true abundant life for ourselves. And it's the means by which God brings life to others. It's through our dying to self that, and, and spreading the gospel that life comes to a very needy world. Absolutely. Give your life to his service. Absolutely. Thanks for spending time with us, Vaughan. It's a pleasure. Thank you.